Welcome to the fourth video illustrating the block series and to end scenario using BOPF, SADL, Gateway and SubUI 5. My name is Tia Hillenbrand and I am addressing with this video rather the ABAP developer who wants to get an impression of how his services are used than the experienced UI developer. I'll guide you through the creation of the SubUI 5 project and the first page of the UI application built with the category header set of our gateway service. We are going to use the sub-development tools in Eclipse, so we open them using the Java perspective. We create a new sub-UI5 project. SAP uses the sub-M library and the XML views as standard. The creation wizard creates three files, a view file, a controller file, and an index.html file, building the frame of the application. The files are already correctly linked. In the index.html file, there are variables for the application and the first view. The view is added to the application and placed in the content division of the body. We want to create a split application with two master and one detail page. This means that we cannot use a standard application but a split one. Let's check the code in the index.html file. The application is now the type split app, where we can add master and later on detail pages. It comes with configuration possibilities like setting the initial master page for the transition mode. Having only one page, this is not very exciting. For working with data, we need a data model. We define it globally in the index.html file. To begin with, this is quite comfortable. We type the model as our data model and bind it to our gateway service. Note that this is only a configuration the odd data request is not yet executed at this point in time. So we are done with the index.html file and continue with the view definition. In the content of the categories view, we put a list pointing to the category header set. The list consists of list items bound to the property category of the entity set. As we want to support selection of an item later on, we already register a handler for the press event. Last but not least, we are going to bind the view and data in the controller file, so we switch to it. The function on init in the controller is executed when the controller is instantiated and can be used for one-time initializations. Hence, we have here to bind the data model to the view. OK, we have defined a data model bound to our OData service in the index.html file. Then we bound an entity set, the category header set, to the list in the view file. Finally, we bound the model to the view in the controller file. These three definitions make that the HTTP request for the category header set is executed when the view is to be displayed. So the main work is done for the moment. We just define the handler for the item select event and leave it empty. We will continue on this later on. For now, we are going to test the UI. Select the index.html file with the right mouse menu and there the function run as web application preview. It executes the application on a local server. And we see our split application, but without any data. Sure, it's local. We need to connect it to an ABAP backend. Hence, we will deploy it on the ABAP server. Up to now, we worked with local files on our laptop. No sharing the code with other team members or using a version management system. You can use GitHub or whatever for sharing and version management. But finally, the application must be deployed on the ABAP server. 
so I'll skip all those utilities and go straight ahead with the observer. First we share the project. Select Team in the right mouse menu of the product folder and share the project using the sub UI ABAP repository. This will create a BSP application which is bound to the project. But first we have to select an ABAP backend using the connections of the sub GUI logon pad. We could connect to an already existing project, but now we want to create a new BSP application in the lower part of the screen. With this, the BSP and the sub UI5 applications are linked and we can submit the files to the backend, again in the team menu. A pop-up displays all files which will be copied to the ABAP server into the BSP. Opening again the Run S menu of the index.html file shows the further option Run on ABAP server. And here we are with the product categories in the first master page. Pay attention for a second on the URL. Instead of localhost, it runs on a real server. The icon in the right upper corner opens the application in a browser. I like to work with Chrome for its debugging capabilities. You can inspect the network traffic, the sources, set breakpoints and so on. And this is really helpful. So we are done with our first UI page. Let's just summarize the video. We created a sub UI project in the Java perspective of the SAP development tools for Eclipse and added the first page to our application. We defined the data model in the index.html file and bound it to our OData service. In the view file, we created a table linked to the category header set of the service. And in the controller file, we connected the model to the view. Then we shared the project using the ABAP server, which comprises already the deployment step. Finally, we tested the UI in the browser. That's it for a moment. See you later.